So this is my set of traditional Russian Matryoshka dolls. And this is my communist era star. Uh, authentic communist era star from Russia, from the Soviet Union. All of which is apt because we are here to discuss the we are here to discuss the trailer for the new Tom Hardy film, which is called Child 44, which is set in the Soviet Union in 1952. And this looks to be a good, uh, well cast, probably solidly acted, intense thriller. Uh, it's a serial killer thriller. It's a crime procedural movie. It's an interesting take on the crime procedural. Uh, it's an interesting take on the crime procedural uh, movie. Uh, because you have Tom Hardy playing, you know, a, um, I'm guessing, basically a Soviet Union policeman or a Soviet Union an army officer uh, who doubles uh, as an investigative policeman. It co-stars Numi Rapis from The Girl of the Dragon to Two, who was also uh, with Tom Hardy in a great film called The Drop, which I just saw recently, uh, which also features James Gandolfini's, I think, last performance, or one of his last performances, and it's well worth seeing the drop. Um, Hardy, Tom Hardy, basically seems to be in everything these days. He just dropped out of filming Suicide Squad uh, because he's too busy. Um, he's finishing up finishing uh, filming The Revenant um, out in uh, Western Canada uh, with DiCaprio. Uh, which opens on Christmas Day and is going to be, I'm thinking, one of the prestige movies um, of the end of the year. Uh, he is also, of course, getting ready to promote Mad Max, which is going to be his big uh, blockbuster summer movie. And there's lots of high hopes for this one. Um, and that was part of the reason why he dropped out of Suicide Squad. He just basically, his slate is too full. Um, he seems to pop up in everything. And he somehow has managed to squeeze this in, Child 44. Um, and, of course, it also co-stars Gary Oldman. Now, he and Gary Oldman co-starred in Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. If you've not seen Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy, go watch Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. Uh, and it's great to see Hardy and Oldman acting together again. Because, basically, Tom Hardy is the Gary Oldman of his generation. Uh, he is a chameleon-like actor uh, who always commits and manages to look and sound, practically, uh, who manages to look and sound different in almost everything he does so um i have very high hopes for this um i think two of the films that i think spring to mind immediately when you see this trailer um one is the kind of obvious kind of, uh, comparison to gorky park another basically you know uh, uh, soviet union era movie about a cop looking for a, a killer uh with william hurt uh but the other film that uh, springs to mind is and you may not have seen this or you may have forgotten it. Um, I think it was made for HBO. I'm pretty sure it was HBO that made this. It was anyway. It was a made-for-cable movie anyway, uh, called Citizen X with Stephen Ray and Donald Sutherland. And if you've not seen it, go look, go find it. Um, it's a great film, great, great film. It's a true story too, and it's set in in the in Russia during the Soviet uh, Union era, towards the end of the Soviet Union era in the 80s. And it's a true story uh, about the Russian uh, police looking for uh, a serial killer. And it's fantastic. And I was reminded of that uh, when I saw the trailer for this. This looks to be a good, solid, intense thriller. It'll have lots of twists and turns. I'm really hoping that it doesn't turn out that the bad guy, you know, the actual killer, is Gary Ullman all along. I'm really hoping that's not the case. Um, the screenplay for this is by Richard Price. Uh, he's no stranger to, to cop procedural movies or to, to um, serial killer movies. He wrote Sea of Love, um, as well as Clockers, as well as The Color of Money. Uh, so well, that has a, you know, some, pretty decent, uh, some pretty decent sort of back, uh, back, uh, back story there. Uh, so uh, that is enough to make me want to see the film. The Presence of Hardy will make me want to see the film. Um, and it co-stars, as I say, in the piece. And uh, Gary Ullman, it also co-stars, you know, looks like maybe a small role, Vincent Cassell, the great Vincent Cassell, um, who was in Black Swan, um, as well as Eastern Promises, uh, as well as a few other films. Um, and so, yeah, so this is Child 44. Uh, it's a serial killer film, uh, and it looks very good. 
and um, it looks to be, I'm sure it'll have, you know, silly, cheesy, thrillery moments, because these kinds of films always tend to. Uh, but I'm kind of hoping that the presence of the actors will sort of compensate for that. Um, you can make what you will of Hardy's kind of Russian accent. Maybe it's authentic. I don't know. You have to ask a Russian. Uh, the only Russian that I know, uh, you know, is the person, you know, I've got the star and I've got my little Matryoshka dolls, but I can't actually speak Russian and I can't tell you if, if Hardy's accent uh, is authentic or not. Anyway, Child 44, uh, Treader dropped today. So, um, yeah, so one of the, and another film that sort of came out of nowhere. I had no, this was not on my radar at all. And uh, now it's definitely on my radar. So, yes, hopefully between this and Mad Max, uh, this will be a great year for Hardy. I'm not a comic book person, so I don't know about Suicide Squad, uh, if it's going to be good or bad. And maybe Hardy made the right decision in dropping out. Uh, apparently, they're having difficulty recasting the part. Um, so we shall see. Anyway, Child 44. Bye.